It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of December. So at any time in December, I am going to do December weeklies as well, but this reading in particular could happen at any time in December. This reading can go vice versa as well, so it could be for the cross watcher, the other person. All right, so let's just see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Scorpio for December? At any time in December. I don't know if you're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. Because I just happened to see that. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But it's somebody that has money or is very stable. Very secure. Very, very solid. Has a lot to offer. This is a hard worker that is very generous and very capable. You could be taking on these energies. You may be taking on that homemaker energy. Or you're dealing with somebody that is. This is somebody that is very, very abundant, very sensual, uh, natural, you know, very um, in tune with nature as well. Very, very grounded. So that could be your energy or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, it's also a very fertile time. So when you see the Queen of Pentacles, so it's a time of growth for you. Material harvest. Now, this is the Nine of Pentacles, which is very much like the Queen of Pentacles. But this is abundance. Look at it. It is absolutely abundance. It's it's stable. It's secure. It's this is the storm is over. This is some sort of money coming in as well. You may getting be getting some sort of inheritance or payoff or big money coming in the near future. Um, this is being grateful, enjoying life. Uh, Nothing to worry about here. Having having plenty. Uh, you've succeeded. You've succeeded, you know, on building up your security. So congratulations. I mean, this is success in some way. Um, this is very, very grateful and independent and in tune. I feel like you're vibrating at a high level as well. You're very in tune. You're being given some, it's like harvest time for you, you know. This is reaping some sort of rewards for your hard work. So yeah, I think you're going to be reaping some rewards by the looks of things. And get that to zoom in. I don't know if I can. I didn't really look before. There we go. Reaping rewards. That is rewards of some sort. Having plenty. And look at look at the glow around you. I feel like you're going to be glowing. Scorpio. Eight of Cups. Now somebody could be... Leaving behind a mess, okay? It looks like we have a messy situation here. Very, very messy by the looks of things. Um, now that is saying goodbye. They are saying, somebody is saying goodbye. I think they're really a little bit disappointed. It may be hard to say goodbye. So yeah, you may be, you may be saying goodbye to something. You may have something to do with the kitchen because of this kitchen. Somebody's in the kitchen. Somebody could be uh, struggling with saying goodbye, but it's time to go. It is time to go. There could be some tears. There could be some soaking. There could be some sort of emotional disappointment as somebody is getting ready to leave, you know, preparing to leave by the looks of things. Somebody is going someplace and it looks like there's some sort of sadness here. Uh, huh. Interesting. Somebody is, is uh, emotionally disappointed. They're sad. They're sad. But wherever they're headed, they're headed towards abundance. I understand that it's probably sad, but to leave something, it's like, this is a mess. I'm leaving this mess. I don't want to do it anymore. You know, or leaving this situation. I don't know how messy it is, but I just, I just, I'm done. It's time to go someplace else. So somebody is probably thinking or, or planning or they've, they've built themselves up to a point where they can go down a new path. You notice there's a new path. There's a new door opening. Okay. There is, but you have to let go of your fear. It is time to step into new territory. You notice the moon in that card. 
um, there is some sort of fear here. You may there could be some sort of confusion, fear of the unknown. You know, the unknown is scary, but I feel like uh, you need to be fluid in in that you're very capable of success. You're going to be successful. I can see that. I see for somebody here. There's we have like an entrepreneur. This is an entrepreneur, somebody that has their own business or can have their own business that can have their own thing that is very very creative and can get whatever they want because they're spiritual, they're they're uh, independent, hardworking. So yeah, I think we we have a lot of uh, substance here, but you're going to be leaving something behind and headed towards more abundance and peace. I feel like there's peace wherever you're going as well. It's just an easier, better life, whatever that means to you. It's like the storm is over. This this messy situation is over. Now it's time to relax and reap the benefits of your hard work. So what do we have for Scorpio? Oh, interesting. So we have Axe. There are forces working against you. Well, that's typical. And Bag, that's a good one. Something important such as, a, such as a new job or a raise could also be a new place to live. Okay? Um, so yeah, there's something important that is coming for you. There is something working against you. It's very clear. These match right up. They absolutely do. So there's, there's definitely something going on here that is holding you back. It is time for you to go. This is working against you. You need to relax. You need, you need, you need time. You need time to just, you know, reap all the, reap some sort of benefits. You deserve, you deserve whatever it is that's coming to you. It's like you need to take a break. You need to, re I just want to keep saying that. You need to relax, you know, um, hmm. I think that you've been overdoing it. Maybe trying to outperform. Anyhow, this is the storm is over. That's time for you to just reap the benefits. Whatever that means, it's time. It's time. Relax. Enjoy. Enjoy your life. It's time for you to enjoy your life, Scorpio. Leave the mess. To hell with it. You're done. So what do we have for Scorpio? Temperance. Just came a flying out. Now this is allowing and accepting change. This is a balancing act. Right? A need to balance. A need to go with the flow. Everything happens for a reason. It is definitely a time of change with the temperance card. Because temperance comes after death. Comes after an ending. This is the path. The temperance is the path that represents the journey. Okay? It represents the journey of life. Now it's time to accept and allow a change. This is an exchange as well. Exchanging one thing for something better. Going for something better. But you will need to blend. You're going to need to blend. This is about blending and accepting to create harmony. Um, it is definitely a time of change for you. You're going to be choosing on something better. Or going towards something better. It's time. This is a card of time. You've learned some sort of lesson as well. Something is coming to an end in, because, like I said before, it is a death card. There's a profound life change that you are going through. Now you just need to accept it and go with it. It's just going with it. Just go with it. Allow. And maybe the, fo the force could be your... I don't know if you're feeling guilty. You may feel guilty or you may feel sad. There's something working against you. It's hard to say goodbye. Maybe it's hard to get say goodbye to something that you worked on. 
that you worked so hard on. Anyhow, this is a this is a this is a, a much needed change. Whatever is ending or has ended ended for a reason. There's a need to be grounded, but there's also a need to be fluid. Let go of the fear of change. Change is needed. It does that represents the higher path. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. So there's some sort of change that is happening and it's happening for a reason. You're going to need to manage your feelings, okay? Seven of Cups. That is some sort of confusion. Options, having many, many options, needing to choose, needing to, to choose the best option. You could be dealing with somebody that... Um, is very very laid back this person is struggling maybe it's not you I feel like and it could be you it could be you it could be them but there's a definitely a need to have faith there's a need to have faith there's a need to believe there, and you have another option right in front of you that is better for you you just need to see it clearly I feel like there's some element of confusion here or illusion or fantasy or choosing not to see or making a poor choice somebody is uh, really really struggling with a change they have a much better option that and they're struggling with with uh, their choice I think you have several 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 options here Five of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. There's some sort of loss here that is, it's like heartbreaking. Somebody is, is heartbroken over a loss. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Now that's nine of Pentacles upright. And that's your, you know, it's, I've brought it over here next to the forces working against you. Insecurity. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is very insecure. Whether it's you or somebody else. But this is insecure, unstable. You know, a need for discipline. A need to take action. A need to, there's definitely a need to believe in yourself as well believe in a better future there is a better future here but this ace of cups reverse is some sort of tears sadness emotional shutdown emotional blockage we may have somebody here that is uh having a very very hard time adjusting to some sort of change um five of pentacles reverse now that is a turning point Beware, beware of uh, emotions. Somebody's having a hard time mastering their emotions. That's that force working against you. Emotions need to be mastered here. This is a positive change. Master your emotions. Do your best that you can do, or to, or whoever you're dealing with. Um, Five of Pentacles reversed. Now this is light at the end of the tunnel, seeing some sort of improvement. Improvements. Improvements are coming. There's some sort of, I don't know if there's an unhealthy relationship here. There could be some false impressions. Somebody may be in a relationship that isn't as healthy. You know, there it may not be as healthy as they thought. I don't know. Independence could be coming because of that Nine of Pentacles. Both of them. That's very independent energy. Somebody may be wanting to be independent. Um, to do their own thing. Even start their own business. But anyway. That Ace of Cups reversed is emotionally withdrawn. Um, emotional shutdown. A lot, a lot of tears. Sadness. Um, Somebody has to choose to be happy. It's all about what you choose. Like I said, there's a need to be grounded or there's an and there's a need to be fluid. You can you can choose to cry or you can choose to be happy. What's it gonna be? It's your choice. 
It's your choice. There is an opportunity here for a lot of abundance and to, and to just relax, you know, to just live a good life. But you have to choose it because that's a choice. You have to choose to be happy. So I feel like this month, you know, you're going to be getting an opportunity because this is, this is it right here. Maybe it's a lot of money or something. Maybe somebody's going to offer you something that is worth a lot of money or whatever. You're going to get an opportunity and I think that you should take it. I think that you should take it because there's a better life ahead. Whatever this is, there is a better life ahead. But if you can't master your emotions and if you can't see things clearly because you're confused, then we got a problem. There is somebody here that is, and it doesn't have to be you. It can be somebody that you live with. Um, there's definitely two people here. Somebody could be, they could be that force that's working against you. Somebody could be holding you back in some way. This person is insecure. The Nine of Pentacles reverse is insecure. Okay, that is, that is uh, a need for discipline and a need, you know, to take action, to bring this material harvest. But there's a struggle. Somebody is struggling to accept. They're struggling to accept that change is needed. Um, anyhow, so... Knight of Wands, just do it. Just go. Act now, think later. Okay? Take action right now. Don't waste any time. Um, that is move fast. Moving fast. And that may, may have something to do with it. Moving fast. I think that there's been some sort of difficulty, but I think that the, with another person or people, but I think this is the end of difficulty. I think things are going to change fast. Somebody could have a good cry or they could have an emotional outburst or something like that, but I think there's going to be a change of heart. Okay, there's going to be a change of heart or something like that. Judgment, seeing the truth, becoming aware, an epiphany, epiphany that it is, that it's time to release. Somebody's going to get an epiphany. They're going to, they are, this is a wake up call. Now, judgment, that is acceptance, it's release, it's, it's a transition. It's the end of things. It's the end of a situation. You've reached the end. You've reached the end, okay? It's time to accept and release. Now, this is some sort of truth. Accepting the truth. Truth is being revealed. Responsibility being assigned. This is the end of things. A life-changing decision. Somebody is making a life-changing decision that was very hard to make. It was very, very hard to make because, you know, somebody, I think there was a lot of work that was put into something, maybe a lot of money, a lot of money and a lot of work, but now it's like, now it's time to go, and I feel like it's sad. I feel like it's sad, but it leads to abundance. It leads to happiness. It leads to a reward. So anyway, I feel like this month you are going to be making a life-changing decision. If you think about Judgment Day, it's where you, you know, you give it all. You you, you tell the truth. You It is what it is. It's the end. You notice the look at the skeletons like it, it is. Are you ready to be judged? Are you ready to tell the truth? Are you ready to accept? Are you ready to accept the, you know... I don't know if there's some sort of consequences here or what. Because of the judgment in the Seven of Cups. I don't know if there's consequences. It doesn't have to be consequences. But are you ready to accept the truth? Um, but that is making a judgment call. And I feel like it's making the right judgment call. Because it's the end, it's positive. It is, it is. I feel like there's some sort of, somebody that's making a positive call, a positive judgment call. They're doing the right thing. And if it means leaving something behind, 
then that's what they have to do. And I feel like that's what it is. Leaving something behind. I know that it is. And it's emotional. It's emotional to... Release. It is definitely the end of something because of that judgment card. That's the end. It's the end of a... Uh, of, uh, situation where there's been a lot of back and forth right it's time it's time to go five of cups oh my god that is grieving over a loss of some sort it's sad. It is very, very, very sad. I know that it's sad. Seeing the truth. There's nothing left. There's no reason to stay. It's time to go. There's a better option that you ha that you have been missing. Or somebody hasn't. Or if it's not you or somebody else. Somebody has been choosing not to see that there is a better option so i don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with could be another water sign pisces cancer scorpio doesn't have to be but i feel like there's there's definitely a very sad individual here who has been moping they have been moping they have been focusing on a loss but this person is going to get some sort of epiphany they are they're going to get some sort of epiphany that helps them to see something they're gonna see something they're gonna see that it's they need to go the empress could be a wife could be a wife could be a mother um this is the birth of a new life this is the start of a new life Somebody is going to be starting a new life, creating a new life. And it's funny, did I say it was a fertile time? If I didn't, I just did. It's a very fertile time. It's a time of growth. Somebody is coming in very, very fast as well. So you could be dealing, like I said, it's funny that I said Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a Taurus, does that? I mean, could be a Libra, but whatever. Um... Somebody is coming very, very fast. They're moving very, very fast. Um, typically, this is a Taurus or a Libra, but it doesn't have to be. Whoever this person is, they're very, very abundant. They have a lot to offer. They're very generous. They do everything with love. This is a creator of some sort. I don't know if there's some sort of contract here. There could be a contract that is being signed. With the judgment card, there could be some legal, you know, contract of some sort. So anyway, Scorpio, I feel like you are going to be... I don't know. It feels like you're almost healing from something as well. Some Life is changing for you. This is life changing. Your life is changing. And it's changing for the better. But I feel like you have somebody that is against you. They're against this change. But I feel like, I feel like this person is going to get some sort of epiphany. Or they're going to see something, an awakening of some sort. They're going to, maybe it's in a dream, I don't know. They're going to get some sort of wake-up call or awakening. Or they're going to get some sort of new desire or new vision that shows them another, that this is what is correct. This is what they need to do. Something is about to be revealed that... Some sort of truth is coming out, put it that way, with that judgment card. Some sort of truth is coming out. 
accepting the truth, accepting that something is over, accepting that something is over is going to be difficult this month for somebody. It may be somebody that you live with or that you lived with or something like that. I think it's bittersweet. You are going to be getting something new because you're creating something new. This is creating a new life that does bring a lot of abundance and ease. And it's just going to be so much easier. But you can't let this other person hold you back. Good luck.